bottom of your duck milk. Oh. <laughs> I can turn your ring back up and gauge. <laughs> you what? Oh? Oh, I'm sorry, love, I didn't realise it was you. <laughs> yeah, I've got the tickets for tonight. Yeah, yeah, and guess what? I've bought it. <laughs> My motorbike, I was telling you about, I've got it in the hall now. The bikers bashed the door in, I got up it and wheeled it in. <laughs> you what? I said, how did you manage to persuade your auntie to let you have a motorbike? Oh, Danny, you'll have to tell us sooner or later. It was bad enough and you didn't want you to go pot only. Yes, I know you told her in the end. But it was a fine time with your head stuck between two stalagmites. No, no. Don't worry, I'll tell her as soon as she comes in. I'll tell you what, I'll be round at your house in about half an hour. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just fixing Miss Kickstarter. No, no, it works all right, only every time I kick it, he kicks me back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in half an hour then. All right, ta-da. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up. I've just struck an Enoch comical crisis. <laughs> Go on. Five Bob, will you jump at them roller skates? I always do. You leave them in such funny places. <laughs> I swapped a train set for them. Then I sold them for a pound and bought them back for 15 Bob. And then I sold them again for 10 Bob. And last week I bought them back for seven and six. And now my best customer's got a trade cap. <laughs> you can't skate, I know one of them's got a wheel off. Oh, they are for skating on, they're for buying and selling. Buying and selling. Look, go outside and play, and if you're looking for trouble, go, go and fight little, little Billy Jackson like a good boy. I've finished with Billy Jackson forever. Well, until next Friday when it's his turn to pay for the pictures. Oh, he's a mingy old skin flint. Three and six was all I could get him up to. And he knows I want five bob for tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, you're not still going on about that football match. Well, it's all right for you. All you're interested in is girls. Cuddling and canoodling. It's <laughs> <laughs> all around our school about you and that blonde out of the supermarket. What? You mean just because one of your pals got me kissing her on, on Canal Bank? Well, it's not that. I was telling everybody you were only going out with her for the green stamps. <laughs> It'll be the last straw if I don't get to go to this match. They're all going out of our class, you know. Ah, you can miss one match, sure, will they? Oh, Miss Rovers and United. Mr. Dirkiest team in the league. They'll be throwing orange peels, bright beans. The lot. It, it, it'll be a massacre. And you want me to miss it? <coughs> You're not much of a sportsman, are you? No, oh, look, I've got troubles of me. Oh, now go on, get outside and play. Get off. I'm not going out. Oh. I think I'll go upstairs to bed. <laughs> you're not going upstairs, I'm just yet. Why not? Why not? Well, I'm, um, well, I'm, I'm doing a little job. Aye, aye. What's going on that Jim doesn't know about? <laughs> <laughs> not a thing. Honestly, I'll give you my word. Is your word worth five bob? Ah, of course. The edgy seconds worth... Now, listen, you, you're not going through that hallway. But there's something out there, and it's a surprise. Now, look, just, just to help a pal, would you go out and play? Oh, uh, all right, then I'll, I'll... I'll go out and play with Bertie Gilmore. That's right, you'll enjoy yourself. But, You're a good um, lad. In case you've gone out before I get back, I'll uh, take the front door key. Yeah, all right, then. Hello. Good night, Jim. Hey, he's not a bad lad. I wonder what he wants that key. Key. He's got that key! <laughs> what year is it then? Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Look, remind me to do something about your next birthday. Like, see, you never get one. <laughs> it's not me that you've got to worry about. It's my mother. She'll go airless when, you know, when she knows you've bought a bike. Especially if I tell you you've been mending it on the whole carpet. Oh, I only brought it in so the neighbours wouldn't see it. I wanted to get her in a good mood before I told her, but now Blabbermouth knows everybody will know. I don't need to tell her. I mean, I'm pleased you've got a bike. Yeah, hey, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, it's no skin off your nose. 
Yeah, I might even give you a ride on it one day. You're giving me a ride on it tomorrow? I'm giving you a ride, you are. <laughs> You're running me to the football match. I am not. All right, then. We'll just count the stains on the carpet. Oh. There's a big oily one for a start, and then we'll oh. just wait. Oh. No, look, it's not. All right, you villain, you win. How are we going to tell your auntie? We don't. Well, not until Sunday. You know she always likes 40 winks on the settee after she's finished washing up. Well, just when she's going to doze off, that's when you tell her. Well, well, don't you see? If you wait until she's going to sleep, she'll be too tired to argue. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. But, hey, oh, she's here. Oh. Hey, look, you shift it, move it, hide it, chuck a court over it, do anything, only get a test for all of them. Where am I going? Oh, you're throwing them. <laughs> Precautions. Well, I get frightened, you know. <laughs> it's the force of habit. What's the matter with your hands? Has there been a fall of soot? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've just been doing a little odd job. I thought you'd gone to the women's guild meeting. I've been. When I got there, I found it was next week. Oh. I could have sworn I put a cross on that calendar. It wasn't a cross on it. When I put one on to remind me, I'm taking Wilmot tonight. Yeah, chilly gubbins, no wonder I got mixed up. What's the point of us both putting crosses on it? Both putting it, but it just shows we're affectionate. <laughs> yeah, Auntie, why don't you come and sit on the sofa and have a nod off? Well, I'll take a weight off my feet, that's for yeah. sure. I miss the bus back and out to walk. Well, put 40 winks to do you good. <laughs> When the wind blows. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Wait la, a minute. La, I don't get up. Door lock. You black as fire back. Have a little la, nod la, off. La, 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 la. Something's going la, on. La, 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 la. What's it? Nothing. 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 Jimmy, what's he been up to? Nothing. Oh, honestly, I see. He came in ten minutes ago. He's been as good as gold and as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a motorbike. <laughs> well, come on, Mum. Don't just stand there. Climb on the pillion. I'm going now, Dad. I shan't be late. Oh, well, have a good time, darling. Which one is it tonight? Danny. You remember Danny? Oh, yes, I remember Danny. Oh, don't sound so disapproving. He said he looked harmless enough when I brought him to tea. That was before he knocked his second cup all over my tweed suit. <laughs> Poor Danny. It's good fun, really. He hasn't been a stick to some of the things he comes out with. I know. I was asking him what he thought about the colour problem, and he said, oh, we're better off without it. Some of the programmes are bad enough in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danny, all right. Look, I can't pick your boyfriends for you, but I do insist that they bring you home at a respectable hour. Now make sure he has you back here by 11 o'clock at the latest. Yes, all right,
Because I haven't enough on my mind without that. Oh, I've got to get me practising. These can win matches, you know. Fifty good wrestlers behind the goal mouth can send the goalkeeper dizzy. <laughs> but that's a few bright keys behind his ear hole. Ooh, it beats me why you've got to get dressed up like that. The Rovers trainer says I'll look posh in these togs. They're going to consider me for the mascot if the goat dies. <laughs> Go on, eat your flakes. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you said it was an away match. How are you going to get there? Oh, it's all arranged. My cousin Danny's taking me on his... Uh, on his day off. <laughs> I hope so. You've got him to give you a lift on the back of that motorbike. Oh, don't worry, Mum. I'll see if he doesn't do anything daft. If he goes too fast, I'll drag my foot. I see now why you... <laughs> why you tore me into letting him keep it. So I should have made him get rid of it at the start. I know I should. But Mum, you, you promised. As long as he didn't get into any bother with it. When he comes down here, I shall ask him a few questions. Better go and get him up. Well, what for? To give him a few answers, uh, to um, <laughs> give him a few instructions how to get to the football field. <laughs> oh, that. I'll get it. Oh, hey. Now then, young man, is the head of the house in? Not trouble, is it? Why do you ask? Well, I'm usually the head of that. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not really trouble, just a routine inquiry, only we've uh, we found a motorbike. Oh, well, we don't want it. We've got enough trouble with the one we've got. Yes, well, that's really why I've called to see you, sir, because we think the one we've found is the one that you've got. Oh, don't tell me Flash Harry's made a mess of things again. Flash Harry? My cousin Danny. He's in love or something. He took his girlfriend out on his bike last night. I, I bet when he started canoodling, he'd, he'd forget all about his bike. He'd think he'd come on the bus. Who oh, is he, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, good gracious me, whatever's happened? Oh, no, it's all right, madam. Nothing to get upset about. If I could just have a few words with Flash Harry, I've, uh, <laughs> the man who uh, owns the motorbike. I thought so. What's he been doing? Finishing up in a shop window? No, he's finished up in a ploughed field. You see? I told you that's where he'd be canoodling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Get in the kitchen. This is nothing to do with you. People down are going to get to the match. In the kitchen. You can't do this to me. Jimmy. In the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me exactly what has my nephew done with that motorbike? Well, the full extent of his crimes appeared to be that he walked away and left it. Oh, thank heaven for that. I'll never know where he got the sense from. Danny. <laughs> You're wanted down here by a policeman. Oh, flipping heck. Officer, you have my full permission to be as severe with my nephew as your position will allow. That's not much these days. <laughs> if it's anything to do with him out of motorbike, I can explain everything. It is 5642TJ, is it? I, I, well, it was. Yes, well, would you mind telling us how it comes to be halfway across a ploughed field? A ploughed Is that where I left it? Yeah, well, it was dark, you see, and I shoved it for, we, me and my girlfriend, I shoved it for about three miles, and, and then she broke her heel on his shoe, so I said to her, I said, you sit on it and steer, and I'll push. So we did. And, and we was going along like this, you see, I was pushing with my head down, and it was right bumpy, and I took it to turn around, and I, I, I said, are you all right, love? And she, she wasn't. <laughs> she fell off. <laughs> There weren't any lights, you see, so I just put me bike down and I went off to look for my girlfriend. Well, I found my girlfriend, but I couldn't find my bike. <laughs> you, uh, you weren't canoodling by any chance, were you? I didn't get the chance. <laughs> well, if you'd like to come down to the police station, you can have your bike. Give that to the sergeant at the desk. Yeah, that's done. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, but by the way, uh, how did you get it going? We put some petrol in it. <laughs> <laughs> Of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, Auntie. Don't be sorry. Just get rid of that motorbike. Sell it, give it, break it up, melt it down. I don't care what you do with it, but I don't want to see that machine again. Ever! <laughs> <laughs> now, have I made myself quite clear? Well, it's, um, it's no use offering you a ride on it then. <laughs> oh. oh, dear me, I'm. I think he means it, Jim. Don't talk to me! 
<laughs> you let me down, you old. I'm not going to get to the match. Oh, like I've forgotten all about the match. Forgotten about it? What do you think I'm dressed up like this for? To sit me 11 plus? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you, you just sit there and I'll think of something. Oh, no, we can't do that. We'll be here all day. You sit down. I'll think of something. Now, come on. Anybody in? He'd have been wasting his time. They were too busy looking for my bike. <laughs> well, he's definitely coming round this morning, so for goodness sake, be prepared. Be prepared? Oh, well, I'll be prepared. I'll get my scalp all ready. <laughs> it's no laughing matter. Oh, I'm laughing, am I? Ho, flipping ho. <laughs> it's me marvellous. I paid nearly 20 quid to get a bike to take you out. I, I shrum it for three miles. I walk another four. And now my auntie's making me sell it. I'll probably get no more than 30 bob for it. Now your father's coming around to lynch me. <laughs> He has a point, bringing me home at quarter past one in the morning. I mean, it's not as if we were going steady or anything. Hello, deserting the drowning rat. <laughs> not at all. And if you're going to use metaphors, I think you'll find it's a sinking ship. I know, and I'm going down with it. <laughs> well, don't forget that I have to walk home too. And the next time you ask me to go out with you, remind me to take a gallon of petrol. Oh, she does go on. There are... Hey, no, wait a minute. Oh, Lord. You know what to do for the best? He loves me. He loves me not. He hates me. He fancies me. He can't stand me. I'm fed up. Right. Oh. Check this for snakes. The <laughs> mother says you've got to get rid of that bike, right? Right. You put an advert in the newspaper shop window, right? Right. Now, somebody could want to buy it, right? Right. But before anybody bought it, you want to try a run, right? Right. Right. Somebody's going to take a trial run down to the United Football Ground. <laughs> right? Right. Get wrong, that 50 miles. Who's going to shove it back? I can't leave it in the field again. Petrol, remember? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and get it. Oh, no, you needn't bother. I think I know who this might be. It'll be somebody else after me, blood. Oh, dear, let me go on. Yeah, hello? Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah, yeah, that looks it. Well, that was a newspaper shop. There's a fellow been inquiring about me advert. He sold his scooter and he wants to buy a motorbike. <laughs> Must be a mod off his rocker. <laughs> <laughs> I was expected. Oh, uh, we always get out advance information on our clients, you know. Oh, yes, I might have guessed. She's not here now, is she? Because if so, I want to see her. Did you not pass her in the drive? She's standing there up on her back rest. <laughs> if I certainly did not, I would have done something about it. Oh, I must have taken her in the shed to give her a quick rub down. <laughs> Now look here, my lad. I don't know to talk to your, your, your brother, is it? No, my cousin, but he always leaves everything like this to me. Oh, does he? Now, I, uh, I think you'll find her in good shape. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. And I know she can go a bit too, because I heard him telling me, Mum, she's very quick on hills. <laughs> now look here, young man, if this is a joke, it's in very bad taste. Oh, give me the help me with these cars. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know where company. Oh, good morning. It's Mr. Stockwell, isn't it? Well, how are things with you? Very confused. I called here to have a serious talk with your nephew, but apparently your son is acting as diplomatic envoy. Oh, well, if you've been trying to get sense out of the boy wonder, I'm not surprised you're confused. Jimmy, go and tell Danny if wanted. Oh, but Mum, I haven't fixed the gentleman up with his trial run, and, and you can't deny him that. Now, doesn't that confuse you? No, I'm used to it. Jimmy, go and get Danny. Immediately. Now then, Mr. Stockwell, oh. perhaps I can. Danny. No, 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 no. Hey, Jim, I've done it. I've put the petrol in and I've even had a going. You stuck a snag. My mum's come back. And I was doing so well with my sales talk, I nearly had him putting a deposit on it. Deposit? Who are you talking about? The fellow who was sent round from the paper shop. He's in there now. <laughs> Oh dear, he doesn't want me multi-back, he wants me guts for gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's it then. No football match for me. Well, I hope you're satisfied. Satisfied? I'm terrified. Have you seen size of him? <laughs> Danny, well. Mr. Stockwell wants a few words with you. All right, I think I know most of them. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's... Funny the way things turn out. It's not funny to me. Oh, the poor little football. Oh, man. dear, all the months. Oh, dear. Well, I was looking forward to going to that match. Never mind, you can stop and help me in the garden, eh? Help in the garden? Oh, heck no. The best match of the season. I can see it all now. The Rovers will sweep down the field. Simpson's dash down the wing, lob it over to Appleby. Appleby will pass it back to Cox, and he'll go down and he'll slam it in the net, and they'll all be shouting and cheering and waving the rattles, and I'll be doing all the speed. Well, you needn't get so upset. Oh, now. get off. Hey, Jimmy, you said stop that, Mr. Stockwell. Do you know, he said I can take Wilmer any time I like, as long as I take this with me. Well, what is it? An alarm clock. <laughs> Oh, look at the time. They'll be kicking off in three quarters of an hour. Oh, it's a good thing that Mr. Stockwell has a sense of humour. Oh, he did think it was funny when he found Jimmy was trying to sell him a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he damn been for that. He'd never have offered to take him to the match. What match? Well, have you not told him? I couldn't get a word in. Tell me what? The people with Rovers and United. He's got two stand tickets. He's waiting for you in his car. Stand tickets? <laughs> Where's me go? Now, 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 Jimmy, please, things on you, mind your manners. And none of your shouting rude remarks at the referee. Hey, come on, get your arm in. I'm not wearing that junk. Why not? You don't know anything, do you? I'll be sitting in a seat in the stand, not with a riff-raff behind the goalpost. <laughs> I've got my dignity to think about, you know. Bye-bye. <laughs> 